This is the new administration complex of the Medeng Technical College and it is named Tiduk House. The complex was built on a cost of 1.9 million kina and funded through the Education Department's TVET Partnership Program with support from the Department of Higher Education, Research Science and Technology. It houses the Principal's Office, Deputy Principal's Office, a main conference room and offices of other staff. I know the government have neglected this sector for a very long time. We have started our work to try and focus on TV training. All I can say is while I'm in cabinet, we will concentrate our attention and energy to making sure that all the colleges are maintained, facilities are upgraded, more dormitories, but I really want an equipment, but I really want focus on quality now. That has to be the focus of the future. The minister was also taken on a tour around the campus to see for himself the challenges the college is facing and some projects they are undertaking. Impressed by the effort the college has put in to manage the funds, he committed a further 1 million kina for the college. This additional funding will be used for a female dormitory and more staff houses for the college. The minister said more spaces must be made available in colleges for students to take up TVET courses. Why do I say that? The government has 30,000 students living in grade 12 every single year. Only 7,000 find spaces in academic institutions, including technical colleges and teachers' colleges. The rest go on to the street. We cannot afford to continue the trend. Education Deputy Secretary Tivet Vini Leka, who was there to witness the opening, congratulated the college for the milestone achievement. He said Tivet education in the country must be expanded to allow more students to have access to Tivet training. Today's commissioning of this modern tech administration building complex is a milestone for this little college. I was reading their plaque. They are saying it's a small college. But with this building, it's going to lift its status to the higher level. Principal George Bidang, a very proud man, announced several projects the college is focused on, including staff houses. The school now has access to free Wi-Fi connection with plans to establish a library for students to use. The college will no longer be a small institution tucked away in the corner of a lagoon in Medellin, but will rise up to be a center of excellence in education and skill training and we play, will play a significant role in training and skilling of manpower for nation building and prosperity. Rayon Lakingu National, MTV News.